Olama is my go-to tool for running large language models locally, whether in quantized format or in full precision. Normally when I have to show a model very, very quickly, I just download it through Olama and then I put a GUI on top of it either through open web UI or any other tool and there are heaps of them as you already know. Thankfully, Olama has just released this new app which primarily allows you to put a graphical user interface on top of Olama. In this video, we are going to install this new app on our local system and I will show you few of the features which they have released. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. If this is the first time you are hearing about Olama, it is one of the easiest tools to run the large language models locally and I have covered Olama in more than 1000 videos. I am more than sure and I am not exaggerating, you can search it out because this tool is around for quite some time and evolving quite nicely. It is an open source framework designed to enable efficient local execution and management of large language models on consumer and enterprise hardware. It provides a lightweight, user-friendly interface for downloading, running and interacting with a variety of pre-trained transformer-based models such as Llama, Mistral, Quen and the list goes on and on and on. It is multimodal which means that you can chat with text, images etc. I will be talking a bit more about it but for now let's go to the requirement at hand. So. In order to get this installed, it's very, very easy. Just go to olama.com and I will drop the link in video's description. All you need to do is to simply click on download and then it is only available for Mac or Windows. I'm just going to go with the Windows one. It's not available for Linux as of yet. Now you don't have to have a GPU installed if you're running a small model. So it is irrespective of your CPU, GPU, it runs anywhere as long as the model is supported on that CPU. So let's click on this download for Windows. And by the way, if you're look, still looking for the CLI version of Olama, just go to their GitHub page, especially for Windows and Mac, and then download it from their release page. So let me click here download for windows it is downloading it it's very lightweight as you can see while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and i will drop the link to their website in video's description so that is downloaded let me Open the file here and then let's wait for it and then simply click on install and it is going to install it on your local system. And while it does that, let's talk a bit more about Olama because I never get tired of you know talking about this tool. So this Olama is built with modularity in mind. It also supports model quantization, GPU acceleration via CUDA or even Metal and REST like APIs for programmatic access that allows developers to integrate LLMs into applications seamlessly. Uh, you can, you know, do a lot of customizations with models and their parameters, but this new app allows you to do a lot of it in graphical user interface, which is always a good idea. So let's wait for it to get installed. I think it is now due to the features taking a bit longer. Also, I have seen that this new app is slightly slow then if you compare it to lm studio and few other tools but it's a first version we can expect that because it is we are working on bleeding edge i'm more than sure it is going to improve in the future and there you go the app is launched i know that you cannot see it in the, you know the white app in the white backdrop so let me see if there's an option of turning it to the dark mode so if I go to the settings, I really don't see any option of setting it to the dark mode. But the thing which I really love is that it supports now uh, the context length setting from here. So I'm just going to go it maybe something like that. You can increase it. And of course, you would need the more VRAM with it if you or more RAM with it. Anyway, I'll just keep it to 64K. 
otherwise if you remember if you have to change it through um, you know CLI and that is a bit of a long drawn process which I have done the video already so anyway so I will just go and click on this drop down you can download the model directly from here or you can find the model from here you can just skip the path so I'm just going to go with maybe Gemma 312 billion and you can start asking the questions start chatting with it the first time when you run it it is going to download the model as you can see here it is the size is just 7.6 gig so let's wait for it and also some people have reported that sometimes what happens is that it gets stuck by downloading if that happens to you simply just close the olama and then reopen it by from the you know menu and then just double click or click on this jama 12 billion give you a prompt again and it is it will resume the download there are a lot of bugs still lurking around so just we just have to bear with it and there you go after the model download and verifying the checksum it has given us a response now there are various things which you can do with it for example this is my local folder you can simply drag and drop stuff so if i just drop this image here and then you can ask it describe this image and then it is going to describe the image of course your model has to be um, you know multimodal so that it would understand the image so you see it has understood this image what exactly this image is doing so let me display it for you so this is the image which is primarily the pulp function this is the image um, an AI generated one which I created for another video and it has described it quite well that it is quite stylized dramatic and all that stuff so you can chat with images plus you can also maybe give your code so I have just dropped in my Python file and I'm asking it what this code is doing and you can even convert it into markdown yep so it's a mendel brought set code and it is giving me proper um, data around it so i can even ask it that uh, convert it is still printing the output by the way if i just go down it is going line by line i will let it finish and I have just stopped it and then I can even ask it to convert this code to markdown format or JSON format whatever you like and there you go so it's a markdown format which you can easily copy paste and of course it's more readable and it, it is going to print all the code here there you go very nice it's all the code which is present in that file and similarly you can draw, drag and drop other files so i'm just going to give it this pdf file and then start chatting with it um so for example i'll ask it who is Mahat Mirza, and then there you go so because their pdf contains data about myself otherwise jama 3 might not know about me which is a shame but uh, as i provided it the context it was able to read that out you don't have to worry about any vector store any embedding model or anything like that olama is handling it by itself so this is the olama's new app for you which where you can do a lot of things so pretty cool a uh, lot of rough edges but i'm more than sure it's just a matter of time maybe next version they are going to fix it please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for all the support